Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you an update on the MCF 427, no, 3727, no, 3427, what the hell, okay, 3427, yes, it's the 44 Northern for West Coast Pacific Railroad. There's some problems with it, there's some things I dislike about it, but I will fix it, and this is just an update, so it's not done, of course. Now to start us off, the front, that's what I dislike about it, the front here, I don't like how pushed in this is. Maybe it could look better, maybe it can't. I think I have to push back the boiler. Oh, I don't want to do that, but I might have to to save uh, the look of it. Well, uh, I'm not sure anymore. I'm, I'm, oh, Jesus Christ, God. It looks like a Santa Fe looking one, but never mind, never mind. Waste of time here. Alright, pilot trucks aren't done. I'm gonna get done. Came from a GS4. These guys, cylinders, uh, modified them to look epic. Added these little handrails here on the locomotive. Uh, looks pretty cool. Some wiring coming from the marker lights and the headlight all connect to this little box there, which is pretty neat. Added this guy. You know, hello. We move down here, of course. The drivers are like the main thing you've seen. Should have go covered them first. Before I do, we have these little brakes that are in a group because, uh, well, uh, when I tried using them, they killed my studio. And I'm not doing that again. So. Normal driver made these myself, like entirely from scratch. Nothing comes from anyone else. These drivers are entirely made from scratch. So, and to be honest, it's been like a year since I've made my own drivers, maybe two. And I'm going to be honest, these look amazing. Sullen disc driver right there. Skullin, Sullen, I don't know. Skullin, I got the breath. Skullin disc drivers, yes. Right there. And a uh, little frame here. It's looking, I hate how it's small. I don't. But that's apparently how it's, uh, frames are built, which I hate. Uh, whatever. You have these little piping down here, looking cool. Trailing truck. Um, firebox, I connected through all the way. Probably seen that already, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, a little extra piping coming from here. Sander piping will be done on this locomotive, so that'll happen soon. And more piping under here. Actually, yeah, so that's that. I'll, I'll, have, uh, I'll save the comments at the end. Added these little guys for the windows, look good. These little guys for the cab, look good. That guy came from the GS4, looks good. Go in here, added windows and those little guys. Whole cab interior from three locomotives, 44, 49, 425, and 2784. I'm going to modify this to make it look good. Already started. This was not a part of this little piping here. It's a, actually, <laughs> that's terrible. I should probably just fix that, but uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I came from 2784. This is like some parts in here for 425. I'll name one that bit, and a large amount is from 49. This came from 49. I made this. I made a good amount of this, so I'm not stealing. I'm not copying. I'm just borrowing, and I will be modifying it. So, and like this piping right here, I made it. These gauges didn't make. I made that right there, and that, that, that all that. So, yeah, I did contribute in a good amount of this cab, so I can use it. And we got some curtains back here too as well. You know, just to just to appreciate how good this whistle looks. It's just amazing. You know, it's like the best Hancock reach I've made. It's amazing. Little funnel guy in there, all that little stuff. Bell. I'm not sure if it I'm not sure if it should be L or uh, what well, air? Okay, look. Air or hand ring. Jesus. Can't speak. Edit this guy, I'm not sure. Was this on last time? I sure just looked more. I'm not sure. But if it wasn't, then boom, there's that. You know, nice. Uh so Oh man, this locomotive is interesting to me. It's gonna, it's gonna have like, like you know when I, I believe when I add like piping under here, get the base running and actually detailed and stuff on this side. I think I can call it done and just start painting it. Only other problem besides the base is this guy. Yeah. Oh, what the heck is that right there? But yeah, this. So that's a, that's a problem. Locomotive is quite wide. But uh, I'm sure it's fine. So this locomotive will uh, be done, and it shouldn't shouldn't take long to make this. It's actually got done in a short amount of time. I only started this a few days ago. So, wow, this is incredible how fast it took to get to this point. But uh, more updates will come soon. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see everyone next time in the next update or the next video because I plan to upload a GMod video later. Oh. See ya.